-hmm. The level of HIV DNA in a lot of HIV infected subjects, surprisingly, maybe to a certain extent, is quite low. Using the conventional PCR technology was, was proving to be very difficult uh, to be able to accurately measure that. Using droplet digital PCR, researchers have already achieved breakthroughs in measuring HIV disease states and validating potential therapies. DDPCR's high sensitivity surpasses the limits posed by other methods in viral DNA detection and quantification, and produces reliable data even with extremely low levels of target. Gary Lee is a scientist at Sangamo Biosciences, who has found DDPCR technology crucial to his work, developing a new HIV therapy. At the time, we are trying to quantify the level of HIV reservoir in the subjects that we are treating. And we're struggling with the existing technology of a TACMAN qPCR. The way the droplet help is that when you break up a sample into 20,000 droplets, Essentially, within each droplet, you are doing a single PCR. So instead of doing one PCR, you're essentially doing 10 to 20,000 PCR. You dilute out um, the background level of DNA. Increasing your positive DNA to background DNA level to a point where you can more accurately determine um, the positive template that you're trying to amplify. I think the first experiment we worked with on this technology, we saw the result and we were amazed at how accurately and reproducibly they can, they can measure low copy number events in a sample of genomic DNA. So I think we have a lot more confidence in the HIV reservoir level as opposed to the past. One of the benefits that I see is the ability to be able to test a larger amount across multiple wells and since you're doing everything in droplets and you're flowing all the droplets through the reader, you can actually merge all your data into a single sample. So I think that's one of the next uh, assay that we will try to develop, um, to eventually develop a single copy um, RNA de HIV RNA detection protocol. In the last year, multiple publications have begun to establish droplet digital PCR as the most precise technique for measuring HIV DNA. In one case, DDPCR technology proved key to verifying that a newborn infant was functionally cured of the disease, the first time such a cure has been achieved and validated. I think this method to measure low copy events in a genomic DNA is really revolutionary and can be applicable to more than just uh, what we're using it for for HIV measurement. We're a lot more confident in what the assay is telling us is giving us something that's biologically real and relevant. If you can break through the conventional limits of detection, what story will you tell?